Chapter 4 Ghosts, Ghosts, Ghosts On Halloween, many boys and girls dress in white sheets and pretend to be ghosts. Long ago, people really believed in ghosts. They thought the dead came back to their homes once a year, between sunset, October 31st, and sunrise, November 1st. Ghosts who had no homes had to walk around all night. They would play scary tricks on people. A flash of white in the darkness, ooh, hoots the owl on the post. A creak and a groan, a squeak and a moan, ooh, here comes the howl, it's a ghost. Many superstitions about ghosts have been passed down through the years. Ghosts can be seen but not heard. They never leave shadows or footprints. They can walk through closed doors, even walls. They love to live in empty houses. They travel at night for they are afraid of the light. To keep ghosts away, one should wear red or carry a light. Spirits fill these two things. The custom of telling ghost stories on Halloween is very old. People used to gather around bonfires. They told about strange sights they saw on October 31st. One ghost story is so famous that paintings have been made of it. It has also been told in music by a French composer, Camille Saint-Cien, called his ghostly music the Dance Macabre, or Dance of the Dead. Every Halloween, says the story, there is a strange dance in the graveyards. At midnight, death raps on the gravestones to wake the sleepers. All the ghosts leave their graves and begin to dance. Skeletons rattle their bones to strange music. On and on they dance, faster and wilder. Suddenly, at dawn, the cock crows. There is silence in the graveyard. The ghosts return to their graves until next Halloween. Chapter 5, Witches and Black Cats Look out, look out, boys, clear the track. The witches are here, they've all come back. Oliver Wendell Holmes People once were very busy keeping witches away. Most people believed in witches at one time or another. Witches work magic and were given their power by evil spirits. Some female witches were young, but most of them were old and ugly. Male witches were called warlocks. Superstitions about witches were indeed strange. It was believed that witches held big meetings as seasons changed. Two meetings were very important. One came on April 30th, the eve before May Day. It was called the Rude Moss in England, and while Purgus Night in Germany, the other fell on October 31st. Halloween became the Witches' Night. And what a gay time the witches had. They flew to the meetings on broomsticks. The party was led by the devil. Witches had special powers on this night. He he he. They laughed as they thought up all sorts of mischief. Sickness, bad luck, storms, ruined crops. The dancing was a sight to see. Witches danced in a ring, two together, back to back. They linked arms, kicking their heels and laughing. In the early morning, they rode their broomsticks home. There were other superstitions. Witches used their magic to see into the future. They could change themselves into other forms. They could even cast spells over people and change them. They might change a handsome boy into a frog where they might change a beautiful girl into a snake. Witches were often in company with such things as owls, bats, lizards, and frogs. The witches cooked their magic brews in big black pots. These were called cauldrons. One of William Shakespeare's famous plays tells of three witches mixing a magic brew. Filet of a fenny snake in the cauldron boil and bake, eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat, tongue of dog, adder's fork and blind worm's sting, lizard's leg and owlet's wing, for a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble, 
double double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. If you want to meet a witch, this old superstition tells you what you must do: put your clothes on wrong side out, walk backwards to a crossroads on Halloween night at midnight. You will see a witch. Black cats were the partners of witches. Many people were afraid of cats. Some thought cats were spirits of the dead. Others believed that witches changed themselves into cats. If people met a cat, they asked, "Is this really a cat, or is this a witch changed into a cat?" The Irish had many superstitions about witches and cats. If they began a trip and met a black cat, they turned back. A witch was in their path. The trip would turn out badly. Even today, many people do not want a black cat to cross their path.